Welcome back, one and all, to Persona 5. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time, we met an asshole at a TV studio, and goddamn, the music is just so good. Let's go to bed. I should rest up for tomorrow. Go to bed. Let's take a nap. Go to sleep. Am I getting the metaverse thing? I hope not. Nope. Okay. I'm up. Like I said, I'm up to six. I'm trending between 16 and 17 percent on the approval for the fan site. That name bothers me more than it should. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Ah! It's Akechi. Oh, he's it's so that guy. Cool. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Right. Moving along, we've been told <clears throat> there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention, too, akechi -kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you... Oh. If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. <laughs> Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real... I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Really? That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? I mean, no. Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you I mean, should never forcefully change a person's heart. That's the problem with vigilante justice. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. He's gonna be a problem. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if, it, if that were the case. I'd summarize it into a report as a school... Now then, let's try asking some students the same age at first. Please. Of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? Uh, sorry about if I'm skipping audio. My headset came unplugged a little bit. So I couldn't hear it. I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. All right, let's try asking this student here. Hi! Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? They're justice itself. They're necessary, after all. They do more than the cops do. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Akechi-kun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. What? If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? They only target criminals. 
I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. How so? To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. What? He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I catch you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. For what? To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. What? <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Different ideologies, I suppose. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Fuck you. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do is the adults say. I feel like our discussions could prove quite fruitful. If the opportunity arises. Thank you. It makes me glad to hear that. The students from Shujen are truly quite interesting. I look forward to seeing you again. Well then? Talk about a problematic guy to get involved with. Oh, I'm Lon Ryuji? There's probably a lot we can learn from him, though. He's taken a liking to me. Oh, great, we're going back to the present. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. Okay, I so I'm going to bet Akechi's going to be a party member. I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that break it thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing I that shall that lead to freedom and I new power. The image on my back, computer background, it looks like one of them is him. It's hard to tell us who all of them are. Especially considering I haven't played the entire game. Alright. Okay. More experience for fusing justice are cut for some. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? Yes. I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. Just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Calm down, buddy. No need to be so hostile. You say that something. You tell you the same thing as I'm going to tell Carolyn. You're s Caroline. You're so much nicer when you're not so hostile. Mm. Mm hmm. Don't.
don't be so sour. There are, without a doubt, people we have saved. Yeah. What a nice thing to say. We are phantom thieves. We're helping people. We're basically exposing criminals and they seek justice themselves. I don't see a problem with that. God, I'm furious. Okay. Yeah, he would be getting angry. Pirate Legend. Make sure you close up. This should increase my wow. guts. Oh. Hmm. Increase something. I'm bold. All right. <sighs> now I can go do more of the clinical trials. I say that with the utmost enthusiasm. <laughs> Well, Akechi just drove up our popularity inadvertently. The Phantom Thieves are super lame. Super lame. <sighs> we'll get there, Morgana. We'll get there. I'm so pumped. Too cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who says who? We're in the we're going to school. Morning. In class. I just remembered. Okay. It's beyond me. After gold, yeah, yeah. You. Zarfson. Yes, ma'am. Can you imagine how much gold has been exchanged, excavated by humanity over the course of history? A lot. I'm gonna say at least three pyramids of Giza. No. Three pools. Ah. I don't know these things. It's not important. What did you say? Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff. Ow! <laughs> You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. <coughs> They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Yeah. You're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. <laughs> you guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. Besides, you can't even prove that it's us. But, what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? 
You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. What do you want, Makoto? Are you snooping on us again? You said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? I'm saying you're a suck ass. That's what that is what she is saying. You're a suck ass. You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Jeez, on, that's harsh. Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've got to be more dependable than some people I know. Ooh! Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? That was harsh. You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. She's a bit deeper than I'm gonna lead to believe. Now I can... Oh, I'm hanging out with Comments you are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. Also, we're vigilantes. They're not usually looked upon with positivity. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. Damn it, this is real irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. We're not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. Okay, you stay? Where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's. I mean, aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. He needs a place to crash. Impossible. You're the impossible one. He's very thick and very, I guess, determined is a good way to put it. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we going to do about him? Just sleep here. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. <laughs> like being a smart ass. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. So we're just gonna hang out at my place, okay? Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. 
I'm afraid I don't have that. I do have a It'll sofa, be up to though. You to Actually, the I do chief. have a futon in my room here, but it's got Christmas presents on it right now. So, make of that what you will. Uh, what a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. It just seems charming and quaint. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. Yeah, actually, we're kind of helping each other out. No, really, he's been great. Huh. Sit down. This rent will be on the house. You're helping, though. Of course. Wow, it's delicious. Hmm, indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. Oh, it's LeBlanc. Okay. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste! Blah. Blah. It's so bitter! Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment! <laughs> I don't like coffee either, Ryushi. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. <laughs> Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're, uh... On. On to Kamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. She's Got 16. She's 16. She is 16. She is 16. Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Sajiro. She's 16. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Hmm. Sweet girl. She's 16, Sajiro. Don't be pervy. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. I really need to do some cleaning in this room. I thought about moving some furniture around. We are all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! <gasps> Calm down, buddy. Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? No. I don't. Me neither. Maybe that TV host guy? What do you think, leader? What about the news? Well... There probably are a lot of famous targets on TV. 
Yeah, it's fake news. I'm gonna drive that joke into the ground. I don't care. I think it's funny. However, the suspects on the news are already being pursued by the police. Even if we make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. Damn it. Now we're gonna prove it catch you wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. Probably ought to buy this guy a burger. From the looks of him, <laughs> he could I use one. Something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. But usually likes his protein. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. Uh... So, what do you say? Fine by me? Okay, hot pot it is! I don't know what hot pot is. Come on, let's up. go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... Oh, wonton's good. We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Dish. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. In other words, it's everything soup. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. You grab a big old... Shit. Just throw everything on the floor, why don't I? I didn't spill much of my drink, that's fortunate. Anyway, hot pot is basically everything soup. You boil a, some kind of soup stock, whatever one you want, and you dump in all the meat and veggies you want. Honestly, that sounds pretty freaking awesome, I'm not gonna lie. That sounds really good. I already made ramen like that. Just noodles, veggies, meat, a bit of cheese. I'm looking forward to it. You want to join us? Hmm. She is. In other words, yes, I can borrow a... How about that one just on the stove? the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Mm. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? Sigh. Sigh, say. Yes, I sigh. That the, the lawyer lady is Makoto's sister. But, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? 
Not really. Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Not legally, but morally, it could be. Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. Yeah, you say that, but is it really true? Through sheer work and determination, anyone can achieve anything they want. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. Don't play the victim. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Of course, I say that I'm just sitting in my bedroom playing Persona 5. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes. Mm hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? That was a weird echo on the audio there. Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. She's asleep already? It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. We sort of just bumped into each other. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <sighs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh... She apologized to me. For being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, 
We never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... This is bullshit! Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. I would put my boot right between his legs. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him, and this man... It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cuff him. Understood. I would have said something, just saying. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. I mean, technically it was assault. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. I don't think she had much of a choice in the matter. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I don't know. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. Yeah, I bet you do. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to get revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! Rotten people in general, not just adults. And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. They make it worse. They pretend like they're making it better, but they'll go around and make it worse. Cause further division. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke! That's gotta be what our powers are for! Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. Probably more so. No doubt. <clears throat> <laughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time too. So strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, 
I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. Yeah, you say that, but I don't that think sure it's was true. a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be alright with you as our leader. Give it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer! Stop it. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great! I want to come, too! How about you, Juan? Ah, uh, dude. You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. I don't think she would want to go to a public bathhouse with a bunch of dudes. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. I'm totally gonna take her from you. <laughs> I don't know if I am or not. I know you can't date and ship people in this game. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. She's breathtaking. Oh, you straight up said it. Well, in her case, her looks totally make up for her overbearing personality. I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. <laughs> please don't. Oh, please don't. Seriously? <laughs> that aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. I'm more like the Charge Commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm... Still... Ugh, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? Come on, I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Persona 5 as I live life. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.